Hello, Bhavna. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. So very happy to uh, see you and uh, very, very big congratulations for Thank securing you, a good rank in the NEET Super Speciality Exam. And I learned you are the fifth rank in the AIMS and sixth overall rank. Is it, is it right? Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, all set for joining CTVs? Yes, ma'am. Prepared. Yeah. Okay. So uh, just uh, uh, because uh, next students who will be aspiring CTVs as well as other specialties will be uh, motivated to watch this video. So let me ask you your journey, your medical journey from MBBS till here. Where all you studied and uh, what are you presently doing? Uh, can you just uh, go through that shortly? Well, I finished my MBBS from Gandhi Medical College, Bhopal. After that, I did my gen MS General Surgery from PGIMER Chandigarh. I finished in June 2022. So okay. after finishing i was still confused whether i should go for vascular surgery or cardiothoracic vascular surgery so i took up a, a senior residency in aims bhopal and ctvs department and it is there i was completely sure that i want to do ctvs and then i started preparing and uh, gave my exam in october 23 october 23 so this is the first time you are uh, appearing for need super specialty no ma'am i used to give the exam but not in a full prepared way Okay, okay. So now are we working somewhere? No, ma'am. I left it just you, before the exam. Just before the exam. Okay. So uh, you had your uh, earlier exams prepared while you were working, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So how many days you left the job and uh, prepared for this? Uh, I left it for two whole months. Two months? Her, yeah. Okay, so you attended the uh, Maro full course of the uh, super specialty NEET uh, videos, no? Full yes, course. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, I understand sorry. for super specialty NEET exam, more concentrated is on the particular subject, right? Now, yes. uh, or uh, uh, this INISET exam. NEET is actually more of general surgery based, and this INISET is more of uh, uh, specialty based. Isn't it yes. like that? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So, uh, how was your routine? Uh, means when you stopped your uh, working and you prepared for two months, how was your routine to prepare for the exam? Ma'am, I started with all your videos. I finished all your videos. I gave it a time gap of fourteen days, and to finish it, so I just uh watched all the videos back to back. Did not make any notes, just to have a heads up of what actually i need to study and in how much depth post that i started uh, consulting a few books like bojar uh, for few topics and then i uh, revised some of your videos which were not uh, which i did not remember properly and then i made some notes the notes that you uploaded later on were most helpful for me in the last 10 days ma'am okay uh, so uh, do you think uh, you are working in a city based department helped you for your exam theory yes ma'am it definitely did because there are a lot of things in cardiothoracics like bypass machine and everything if we have seen it it definitely helps in knowing the concept better okay okay so definitely your advice to those who are preparing for an INISET or a institute exam to is to get some practical experience in the subject right yes ma'am because yeah. it's a big commitment so it is better to know the daily life of a cardiothoracic surgeon before entering and committing it for the whole life yeah okay but maybe you have written uh, the regular NEET exam also right yes ma'am i did okay so uh, how uh, how will the, this experience help in the NEET exam because it's more of a general surgery based uh, exam so would you advise those NEET aspirants uh, also should have a practical knowledge in the subject Ma'am, I don't think so. For need people, general surgery experience helps more than the uh, subject experience. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, why why do you like CTA so much? Ma'am, it is from the second year of MBBS. Uh, that was our first elective posting. Uh, so we just used to go and see the patients in the outpatient CD surgery. That was... Uh, that created interest but later on when i started reading and saw the 
uh, outcome of the patient when the patient used to come in the follow up in the opds so that was the most satisfying factor in, in determining this branch because uh, ctva surgeries are definitely uh, outcome providing surgeries for the patient yeah that's uh, true but uh, any surgical specialty if you see pediatric surgery plastic surgery neurosurgery they are all uh, means a suffering patient is benefited by these surgeries but ctvs and neurosurgery i feel it needs more of commitment and uh, more than that you will take time to settle down or be yeah. a consultant independent consultant uh, when uh, uh, the trend towards taking a ctvs uh, as profession is coming down nowadays because in the last need also i understand that for more than 500 i think 542 was something was the rank who took the ctvs otherwise in the first 100 rank holders none of them selected ctvs more interest is for gastro onco and euro that's the trend i think uh, it, it's like that but those who have a passion for ctvs uh, i think they don't like any other subject because <laughs> they yes. want only ctvs and uh, it was uh, your right decision to come to ctvs because once you uh, know uh, everything because uh, in the future ctvs will be split up into adult uh, uh, thoracic or cardiac thoracic and vascular even now yes. there are many centers offering uh, mch in vascular Uh, also dnb and mch in uh, thoracic not mch dnb in thoracic surgery and so uh, in future definitely will be split up to different different specialties but uh, one thing i always felt is that uh, when you become a thoracic only surgeon that is when you select uh, only thoracic surgery uh, the moment you have a major vascular encounter you need uh, this help of a uh, ctva surgeon now for example in thoracic uh, um, the ultimate surgery like lung transplantation you need a uh, um, uh, little more help or we you need a heart lung transplant or uh, you need to uh, do something on the vessels uh, maybe you need a backup by a ctv surgeon but once you learn all this then you sub specialize or if you're interested in vascular you go to vascular but it's that you can you need not uh, need another uh, help and you can teach your students everything so that is the advantage at least in your student life you should be exposed to everything and then later on in life you can uh, specialize because too much tubular specialization uh, during study period i don't think it's good so you should yes. have a broad understanding broad exposure to everything and then you can uh, sub specialize and do whatever you like okay and uh, your parents uh, must be very happy that you are entering an institute uh, so uh, which institute uh, do you prefer to join Ma'am, as of now, I'm. Uh, I'm. My first preference is Ames Delhi only. Okay. Because uh, it would be uh, geographically nearer to my home also, and uh, it has a good uh, department which exposes to every kind of surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You You are from Delhi? No, ma'am. I am from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Okay. Yes, so, uh, what would you? Uh, it's not like advice but your uh, colleagues and your uh, younger uh, batches who will be preparing or aspiring to join an institute okay so uh, for the next exam institute exam 6 months after this so uh, those who are aspiring for that uh, exam so what will be your suggestion uh, like uh, the materials course materials the method of study and uh, the pattern of questions so uh, that will be more useful from a person who has achieved uh, this much uh, success in this exam so what will be your suggestion to them ma'am uh, regarding the cardiac thoracic and vascular part the videos in the notes are more than sufficient if at all some topics like uh, the cardioplegic agents or the uh, composition of the cardioplegic agents is small topics we can go and refer to a particular book otherwise the videos are more than sufficient and just going through the videos once uh, is i mean once is very enough for uh, knowing how much is the syllabus what all we need to actually cover for the exam and then wherever we need to revise it from like any notes we are making or any book we want to refer like sabriston or schwartz we can go for that so this is for the um, the sub particular subject or particular uh, specialty 
but general surgery uh, as i prepared was uh, take one or two topics daily along with the cardiac thoracic uh, because if we take on this general surgery as a bulk it becomes a little boring if you have a passion and you want to prepare for cardiac surgery particularly so i used to take few topics two or three topics every day and then uh, cover it up together okay so uh, when i prepared the uh, notes and the videos my concentration was more on the neat students so i prepared all my slides based on bailey and sabiston general surgery yeah. sabiston and bailey and love okay and some topics like thoracic outlet syndrome and something trauma etc where i got some extra points from schwartz general surgery textbook i referred that also but i didn't go to uh, proper general uh, ctvs books like sabiston thoracic or a kirkland or any other book which was core ctvs because it was too much heavy for neat students okay so uh, what do you uh, suggest that i should include more or which topics now i got an idea that the composition of cardioplegia was not included in my slides right yeah ma'am it uh, does comes in the ini exams uh, ma'am yeah. the core topics like uh, the congenital surgeries they come a little, little more, bit more detail in the main ini exam than neat okay 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 so uh, i think uh, uh, the cardioplegia solutions must also be included from now on right yeah yes, so one is the composition of cardioplegia and then uh congenital the problem is uh it's totally a new subject it's uh, uh it's a totally a new subject so uh, those who are not uh, liking or not planning to take ctvs it's actually a waste of time to learn all this especially need students so if we yes. have another uh, set of uh, videos for uh, institute students then can go in more detail otherwise even now i, I think the congenital is a long video Yeah, uh, um, congenital uh, cyanotics and cyanotic are two separate videos. So that is a very long video, I suppose. So yes. uh, for those who are not preparing for specifically for CTVS, this itself is very boring. But <laughs> I so otherwise for institute exams, that's okay if I go in more detail. So with the other things, uh, uh, I will try to add more. Okay, and any any improvement or any change in the presentation of video. or uh, the preparation of notes or slides uh, as a student uh, do you suggest me as a teacher that you want to improve want me to improve no ma'am i think your videos were very systematic they were in a in a pattern that we could understand like we are going through something in a particular pattern so that it was very well structured the notes as well as the videos but uh, just a small thing that in cardiac topics a little bit more detail comes in the ini exam that's it ma'am okay 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 so yeah Even that the, i will and the vascular part was more than sufficient from the videos and the notes okay okay so yes. uh, any other uh, super specialty textbooks you referred bajar right yes ma'am i did yeah Refer for pacemaker and all i think i took notes from bajar only that yes, uh, pacing uh, modes and all uh, bajar is the only textbook that gives such a detailed description in a very simple manner no other yes. textbook have concentrated on those topics like that and yes. uh, th were there any um, detailed questioning on uh, this uh, pharmacology and physiology of heart um there were one or two pharmacological questions but they were well covered uh, they were not very detailed questions uh, okay okay yeah electrophysiology uh, muscle action potentials you had questions on that no that it was not covered okay okay yeah so overall uh, it would be good if you can uh, view the video in detail right yes ma'am and for i specifically yes ma'am okay okay and definitely for institute exam uh, at least 3 to 6 months of practical uh, or exposure in that particular specialty will definitely help right because practical questions um, because it's it's like greek and latin when you don't know cardiothoracic you are going directly re hearing about uh, cardiopulmonary bypass cardiac arrest total circulatory arrest you don't understand anything right yes okay. yes so and once more yeah also Tell during me. the ms times we are not too much exposed to the uh, particular surgeries of the ctvs yeah, so that sure, is sure. important so uh, you get uh, ctvs specialty posting during your ms times right yes ma'am uh, it's for one month or two weeks 
मैम इन टोटल इन थ्री इयर्स वी गेट नाइनटी डेज ऑफ पोस्टिंग सो वन इज इन दर्स्ट इयर एंड दर वन इज इन दर्ड इयर दिस इज दैटर्न फॉलोइंग इन पी जी आई यस मैम यस okay the uh, it's actually very good curriculum because uh, in medical colleges in kerala where i am working uh, the number of students in general surgery is less so they have uh, uh, no workforce so they they hardly get any posting in ct this maximum for a week or two in a, in whole th- three years of ms training so that is too uh, little time to get used to or get understand the subject or uh, generate an interest in that unless somebody yeah. really has a passion towards the subject there is no time for them to come uh, see the surgeries and get interested in that so this 3 months of posting and in the 3 year is really a good curriculum so that you get yeah. to know what the subject is and uh, many times i have felt that the ctvs you see in the those one or two months of posting is not the ctvs you see when you join as a senior resident that is exactly different in aims yes, also yes. i have seen people ms students coming to uh, specialty posting they like the subject very much because we are they are small students ms students uh, they are not given any hectic duties they come as a cases go in the evening 5 o'clock so they like the specialty they come as a senior resident then after one week they are completely lost <laughs> so yeah, this, this was it. not the uh, this was not the units when i saw when i was in ms so this is totally changed <laughs> this is not the one yeah. which i saw so uh, it is really a tough time but those three years if you invest yourself that will pay off e- in your future so once again uh, hearty congratulations to you so thank you so that you have a very future and i'll pray that you get ad- admission to aims delhi itself okay thank so, you so much all the best pavana okay thank you thank you so much ma'am